John, thank you. And Peter, welcome back to CNBC. Thanks, Simon. Good to see you. Good to see you as well. Let's start with that increase in marketing spend. I think there's some questions there. That includes TV ads and uh, YouTube in total up about 20 percent compared to 2019 levels. Right around the time you became CEO of Expedia when you pledged to make the company more efficient. So how do you justify this increase in budget and the expected payoff? Yeah, so there's a few things going on there, Seema, for, uh, that we talked about yesterday. One is that our B2B business, as we've discussed, is growing very quickly, and the commissions from our B2B business flow through our marketing line. So you're seeing the, the actual benefit of the growth of that business. We also saw a lot of weather impacts, particularly at the beginning and the end of the quarter. And when those cancels come through, we've bought business that doesn't actually happen, and our marketing seems inflated relative to what comes through the results. But had those cancellations not happened, obviously those, those marketing dollars would have been efficiently spent. And then overall, we are spending more for long-term customer value. So you've seen us increase our investment in app downloads and other things that are a little longer live than the old performance marketing we used to spend most of our money on. So the, the seasonal trends are slightly different. So you're seeing a little bit of that in the seasonally lower Q4. So that's really what's going on there. All right. So then what do the trends look like here uh, in 2023? You mentioned the rebound in bookings in January. Can you Any data you can point to that, that shows us the incremental demand you're seeing there? Yeah, the trends have been really strong since January. We, we said in our call that we're seeing over 20 percent uh, lodging demand, which is considerably higher than uh, where we were in the fourth quarter, even X the weather. Uh, and so there's just been a ton of demand. APAC is starting to come back quite strongly. That's helping in our B2B and our B2C business. Uh, still a small part of our business relatively, but that's been quite strong. Uh, and generally, the market's been very robust across the board in, in the Western world and Asia and LATAM. 